Greetings, citizens of Nerdtropolis. Sean Todd here, the mayor of Nerdtropolis, and on this episode of Real Insights, my guest is 1992 and Oppenheimer actor Dylan Arnold. Hello, Dylan. Hey, how's it going? Great to meet you, man. I got to say congrats on all this amazing success so far. It's been awesome to see you really keep going and keep elevating yourself. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. I really enjoy 1992. It's a great heist film, but it also explores some intense themes against the backdrop of the, you know, legendary and iconic LA uprising. What drew you to this project and specifically to your character? Um, I mean, I think first and foremost, you know, Ray Liotta being in the movie, I think that's someone that I had always wanted to work with. So that definitely drew me to it. And then I read the script and it was just really intense. It was a wild ride. It just kept moving. It kept chugging along, which is always great when you read something that you don't want to put down. Uh, and then, uh, and then the character, I liked how he, he didn't feel like he fit in with the world that he was in. You know, he didn't feel like he had the criminal instincts that his brother, his dad did. He kind of led with his heart a little more. Um, and, uh, yeah, I kind of had a soft spot for him. So I think, uh, it's always great when you get to play characters that you love. Yeah, and the storyline does interview, interweave two father and son relationships. Mm -hmm. uh, what was it like exploring these dynamics with y yourself and Ray Liotta? Well, uh, I mean, Ray was incredible to work with. He, um, he, I mean, he's amazing. So you come to set and you just got to be on your A game, and and he he brings out the best in the people around him. Um, he uh, he's a great person to work with. There's this unpredictability that he brings to his character and on set that, uh, that you just can't help but feed off of. Uh, so yeah, I, every day I felt like he made me better. No, I love hearing that. Uh, big fan of his. It's sad we lost him, but I'm glad we still have stuff that he, that he's in that's coming out like this 1992. So it's really fabulous. Um, you know, while watching him perform, did you pick up on anything, any tips or, you know, any memorable moments actually from the set with Ray? Uh, I mean, I think that there were a lot, I think just watching how he approached his work, uh, and, you know, there's some people that you look in their eyes and there's just this fire and he definitely has that. Uh, and so whenever I was, uh, supposed to be afraid of him, it was very easy because he would, he would, he would bring that fire when the camera would roll. But of course, when they call cut, he, he was, he was, he was lovely and, uh, and very supportive scene partner. So, uh, yeah, I, I think I, I just learned that, that you can, you can bring an in intensity and, uh, and, and fuel the set. No, I love hearing that. That's what makes him so, so good. Uh, yeah. Also, uh, Scott Eastwood's in this. How's it like bonding with him on sets? Uh, I was very happy to see him in this. It's always a joy to see him pop up in these films. Oh yeah. He's great, man. He played my older brother. You know, I felt like we had this, uh, great sibling bond by the end of it. Uh, but yeah, he's a lovely guy. And also, of course, great actor. And uh, I was really able to uh, able to discover some nice moments with him on set. What's something about 1992 that you think will surprise audiences the most when they watch it? I think the the relationships and the heart that it has, uh, you know, it is an action packed heist movie, but it does have this really beautiful father son relationship at its core. Uh, and I feel like that's something that you don't see a lot. It, it feels like one of those classic action movies that I feel like people are longing for a little bit, but it, but it brings that, that beautiful family relationship at its center. Uh, so I think you get a little bit of everything with this one. There's a lot of uniqueness with this film. It's something I haven't really seen, especially with the backdrop of 1992 and the yeah. uprising in LA. Very great combination. And I really love the different father and son relationships that you see play out from both mm -hmm. sides, which is really great. But I also have to ask about your time on the legendary film now, I'm going to call it Oppenheimer, about your fondest memory on set of that giant film. It's hard to pick one, honestly. I like every day I felt like I was. Uh, looking around and and feeling very grateful for where I was at, but uh, just working with Killian, you know, he's someone that I learned a lot from, and and how he carried himself with such such grace and was so kind, but just really just was at the top of his game every single day. Um, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Horseback riding on the side of a mountain with uh, Killian and Josh was was pretty cool. <laughs> 
No, I, I love that scene and great chemistry. The whole cast. I mean, no one has to say how great this that film is and how big it is now. Uh, but what also would like to know, like Christopher Nolan, what's his style on set? Uh, what's it like to be directed by the legend himself? <laughs> he, you know, he's very. Uh, he's actually very. At least when I worked with him, he's very, uh, very low key. You know, you wouldn't have really expected it. it people say it feels like uh like a hundred million dollar student film just because it feels like there's that passion uh behind it and you know chris allowed people to play he uh it's clear how much he loves what he does which i think feeds everybody else around him no that, that was great and now you're kind of in his you know phone book now so you know most of the people that work with with nolan somehow ends up in his permanent phone book so maybe you get a call for next one because i really do enjoy everything that you're in, especially with 1992. And it's really great. Um, and I'm really looking forward to what you deliver next. Any type of genres you want to tackle um, next? Uh, I don't know. I, I, I'm kind of open to whatever. I think that that's so great about this career is that you get to do a lot of different things. And hopefully I get to keep doing that. Yeah, you definitely shine in all of them. So I really appreciate talking to you today. Thank you. I appreciate that. It was great talking to you too. Once again, this is Sean Taj, the mayor of Nortropolis. And stay tuned for more movie news, reviews, interviews, and trailers.